Hello and welcome to Cebo Volatility 411. My name is Dan Deming and I'm with KKM Financial. Well, SPX under some pressure once again today, testing the lows of the week, pushing back down to that 32.34 level. We held it so far, but it will be interesting to see if we can hold it for the rest of the day. With that, the VIX cash pushing back up towards the highs. We did not see it take out Monday's high, but we certainly saw it push up to the 18.75 level, currently around the 18 level. VIX futures, a little different story. We saw the Fed future actually go to new highs, ticked 18 intraday, now flattening out a little bit around the 1765 level. Backwardation between February and March futures now as we push up here towards these higher levels. Flat term structure, basically all the way out to September. Uh, then you see that risk premium from the election being built into the October future, but a very flat term structure. And when you look at the VIX cash relative to the VIX futures, for the most part, we're seeing in a backwardation as well, where that VIX cash is holding over the VIX futures at the current levels. Looking at um, VVIX, measure implied volatility in the VIX options, 103 half. You saw a high of 106 half uh, on Monday. So again, elevated, but not too extreme to this point. And it is very interesting. It's an eerie quiet down here this afternoon. I can tell you when you look at the options activity, uh, it's almost like either ball players got ahead of this or they're just not taking a stand here or because of the dynamics within the market structure. But it is an eerie silence as we see the SPX now pushing back down to the low end of the range for the week. Looking at uh, activity, actually the big activity is on the put side today. Feb 14 and a half puts traded about 20,000 times and you also saw the April 15 puts trade. Uh, out of the money calls, some activity there but nothing too pronounced as I mentioned. Looking at next week, we got a lot of data. We've got earnings, we've got uh, ISM numbers, manufacturing, non-manufacturing and un unemployment at the end of the week. So I think those things coupled with the uh, coronavirus news and the global slowing initiative that is being filtered through the market, those are your vile factors moving into next week.